right, so this is the third of three videos on Google Forms. I'm going to show you how to use this tool so that it will automatically correct an assessment that you might give your students. So again, you'll need to sign into Google, and we're going to go to More, Documents. I'm going to assume that you already have the assessment created, and you're going to go ahead and open that one up. So once you've got the assessment created, go ahead and open it up. Make sure that it is correct. Um, that you have all your questions spelled correctly and that you're asking the type of questions that you want to ask. Once you know that for sure, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to go in and you're going to take the assessment. So you're going to go to the life form. Once here, you're going to go through it and you're going to answer all the questions and make sure that you have the exact correct answer the way you want it to appear for every single question. Now some of the questions are going to be, they're not going to have a right or wrong answer. And that's okay. Go ahead and add it, an answer anyway. We are going to worry about the ones that have absolute correct answers. Answer all those questions, hit submit, and what's going to happen is that you will then have the very top O of the answers will be populated with correct answers. This is going to turn into your answer key. What we're going to do is we're going to create an answer key bank. You will need a row of correct answers for every student in your class. So for every student that's going to take this assessment, you'll need one row that will be their answer key row. You have one row already, so this will be for your first student. Let's assume you have 12 students. So this it starts at number 2 and it goes to 11 for 10 students. Clearly you have more, but for the sake of keeping everything clean on the screen, we're going to say that there's 10. I like to identify where that row ends. So I'm going to highlight that row by clicking on it. So you can click on that row, and it's going to all the way across. And I'm just going to put a line underneath there. So now I know this area here is my answer key bank. Now, their name is not a correctable answer. It's not a right or wrong answer, so we can skip that one. Paragraph is not going to be a type of question that I'm looking for an absolute right answer, so we don't have to worry about that one either. Choose one of the following. This is one that is going to have an absolute right answer. And what you can do is you just select that. You put a move your cursor over that little blue square until you get crosshairs. Click and hold and drag that down. What that's going to do is going to populate every single cell with that answer. We're going to say that all of these are absolute right answers as well. The quickest way to do it is highlight all of these that are in the, this row that are absolute correct answers. Move the cursor over that little blue square until you get a little crosshair. Click and drag them all down. And what that's done is to just copy that whole row all the way down with the right answers. We've got 10 students. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down 10 again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to highlight that row and I'm going to draw a line underneath that. This space is going to be where the answers are going to end up being scored. And this is where I'm going to put in the formulas. Now, I will have data in all of these cells from here all the way down to here. So the first student that submits their answer, their answers are going to appear right down here. And so this is going to be the, the, the area where the answers will appear that come from the students. But this is going to be where the answers are going to be scored. And to do that, I need to put in a formula that will score the answer for me. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a formula here that will copy the student's name into this row. So when it's being scored, I know that this row is the score for that student. This is a very easy formula. I'm just going to put equals, and then I'm going to click on this cell right here, and then hit enter. It disappears, but it's still there. So watch what happens when this cell gets populated. It automatically will copy whatever's in this cell right up into here. Okay, I do not want that any information in that cell yet because I want student information there. What I'm going to need to do though is I need that same formula to be here, 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 so that this cell will copy this data, this cell will copy this data, and so on and so forth. To do that, it's the exact same thing. I've got a formula in this cell. I'm going to 
select that cell, put crosshairs, copy, and drag. So now, when I put something in this cell, it will populate the correct cell up above. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I don't want anything in there. Now, I, need, I want their first name as well. So I'm going to click this, drag it over, and then drag it down. Same thing, I want this cell, I want all these to copy as well. So just a real refresher, the formula is equals, and then click on the cell that I want it to equal to, hit enter, and then to copy it, crosshairs, and drag it down. All right, this formula is a little bit more difficult. I want to tell this cell that if this answer is equal to this answer, that means it's correct, and I want it to award it blank points, however many points that you choose it to be. If this cell does not equal the correct answer, I want it to award zero points, or even negative points if you want it to. So that is going to be insert a function. The function we want is a logical function, and it's not listed in these first ones, so you're going to hit more, choose logical, if, double click, and then close the window. Now it populates it with the formula, but the formula just has some reminders in here. The then value, we're going to say that this question is worth three points. So if they get it right, it's, they're going to get three points added here. If it is, does not match, we're going to say that it is worth negative one. So we've eliminated all the then value and the otherwise value, and we've replaced it with the actual values. Three match. The test is, so we're going to delete the word test, and we're going to say the te this cell needs to equal this cell. So what we've said is that if E2 is equal to E22, then we're going to put three points here. If E2 is not equal to E22, we'll put negative 1. Hit enter. Right now it doesn't match, so it says negative 2. But if we put a correct answer in this cell, which will happen when the students fill out the forms, then that number equals 3. We need to copy this down. We're going to do the same thing. Copy and drag. And so now when I enter a correct answer in this cell, that score changes to 3. I want the same formula all the way across. But let's say this question here is worth more points. I can go in here. Five. I did that by double clicking the box or the cell, highlighting the three, and putting in a new number, and then hitting enter. Double click, highlight the number, hitting enter. We now highlight all of them once they've all been calculated to the correct scores for each question crosshairs, drag down, there you go. Now we've got a column that'll have the first name, I mean their last name, their first name, and their paragraph written right here. This cell, we're going to add up a total for all those answers. So we're going to go insert, function, I want the sum of this entire row. So equal, sum, click here, Hold, drag it all the way across, close, or release, close the parentheses, hit enter. Right now the score is negative 9, drag it down, score for negative 9 for everybody. Once answers start appearing though, the answers are going to, the scores will be populated in here. We're going to save this, file, save and close.